and it's sad. Like it really is, because at the same point, gr grow the hell up. But um, I just really wish that uh, I'm glad you talked to me, and I promise I'm not gonna hold up your laugh because I'm sure that uh, the folks might want to talk to you. But however, I'm just glad that I actually got a chance to talk to you about this. So now that I oh oh one more thing, girl, one just one more. Okay, so just one. So I saw. And I don't know how if it was doctored or not, but so last night I was where was I last night before? Oh, we was getting ready to go over to what's um Gage's live though. But last night I got a text message of a video of this um this I guess I'm I'm not gonna call him a boy. I sure the hell ain't because he's a grown adult. But like I just think how would I say this? Let me think of the words. I'm trying. I'm all I really am. Uh, so like the video was like him making like a, a comment, and he can't help it, and I totally understand that. And it's just, if I'm not saying his name is Andrew, and like, like his what his comment was was kind of um, sexual, I guess you could say. Like I know he can't help that at all, but I think what I saw was like it was just like rubbed me the wrong way. It really did because of the way it came out. But, like, I don't know. Like, I know he can't help it. I totally do. And that's not what I'm here for. But, like, maybe if you don't mind, can you help him, like, show him guidance to that instead of, like, I guess, I, <laughs> instead I, of letting I, people run I, with I, it? So cause... I'm sure the video was clipped of me laughing right after, right? Right. I said you, and then I said you, don't do that. You can't say that. Right. Well, it cut off at that point. So I didn't really even right. get that part. But right. Yeah. That's where, like, girl, I was like, mm -mm, I just need to talk to this girl for this woman for literally like five minutes at the most because I'm going to hop about this box. But thank you so much for um, talking to me right now. It really cleared up a lot of stuff for me. Um, but I got blocked at his live last night. And the only thing that I said in his live, I don't know why they blocked me, but the only thing is that them comments last night. You said me something the... about I saw you, I saw it when you got muted. You said something about um, using people with special needs. Um, yes, that's, that's something that they keep putting out there. I'm I'm kind to them just like anybody else. Right, and that's like, the only thing I said last night. And I was like, y'all muted me before saying that. Like literally. Like, y'all are some petty stuff because, I mean, like, the way that, like, anyone, and I'm not saying it was just you at all, I promise, but it's the comments that was in there, and they was like, uh, money, 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 like the money comments, and that's why I said, can we stop using disabled people for once in our lives and grow up? And yeah, then I, I got muted, I, and I, I was hot as hell. I spent money, so. I was I hot I mean, as hell. A lot of people are hot as hell because of the lies that they tell. Like, I don't, I don't, I mean, I can't stay here and spend my entire, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Reaching out to a, a, a parole officer, um, getting, making, making sure that some of these people face legal charges because I, I can't spend my entire life on, on sitting here explaining this 90 million times so that people don't harass and stalk me. And call my daughter's school and send the police to my house and I like I can't I can't spend my life doing that, right? And I and I'll say this from Jump Street: I never, girl, I have never called any of your places of work or anything like that because it's not me because I'm very a direct person. But um, however, I did raise a concern the other day because I was very concerned about um, y'all like when y'all went out to the bar the other night and uh, it was a lot of. Well, the thing that rubbed me the wrong way, and I was going to speak on this, but I tried to put it to the side because I let go stuff like that. Like, it was like the racial slur that came out. And I was like, maybe it was just uh, in it, a song. Or maybe, you know. You're talking just, about the black man that said coon babies is what you're talking about. That one, and then it was the N-word. That was my sister's boss. She said her name was Rebecca Coon. And the black man behind her, her boss, said, and not coon babies, or she said, coons make pretty babies or something like that. Right. And not coon babies, but coon babies. 
Yes. So and that, that people like, didn't take it wrong. That was a black man saying that. So that because people were taking everything wrong, that was he was saying she wasn't saying it like that. Right. And and, that, I, and that's what I was like, hold on. I was like, I know I didn't hear that right, right? Like I was <laughs> girl, I thought I was drunk for a minute and I don't even drink. And I was like, did somebody just like really just like say this word and then like joke about it? I was like, what? So right. that's, that's what I was like. That's literally what happens all day long, 24 seven. Like I can't, like there are things that I choose to explain and things that I choose to not explain and things that I like, I mean, it's nonstop. When I can't, I can't do anything. I can't, I can't enjoy myself. People can't enjoy my lives anymore because this is literally nonstop 24 seven. Well, I hate this has happened, you know, for over a year or two, or I don't know how exactly how long. I hate this happened, but the only reason I came up into it because it really affected my friend Candace really badly. And so I was like, why would someone do this? And the reason why she, the reason why it happened, like when we, when she tried to call you back that night, cause you was, she was live and stuff, you know, and by that time I was already watching and there's, there was no way. I mean, they, when I got off the phone with her and I agreed to get in the box and, and apologize publicly, that was my plan. As soon as she went live, they went in there and bombarded her and got in the box and started with this until she was mad. She was mad. And when I got off the phone with her, we had settled things and it was fine. Right. Like, obviously it doesn't excuse what happened, but, uh, but it was leading towards somewhere good and they didn't want that to happen. And so right. they were sure that, that, but it was leading towards somewhere good and they didn't want that to happen. And so right. they were sure that that didn't happen. Yeah, Faith, we got kicked out. Yeah, I'm glad she came in. I just hope that she doesn't continue to... She seems like the only adult that's reasonable, and she genuinely wanted to ask questions. Do you hear how many lies questions. came out? Like, how, like, like, that's how everything goes. Hold up. I know. Literally it's, everything. It's from them, and I'm glad she came in here and asked you from her own mouth the questions she wanted to ask you instead of continuing to be in their lives talking about you and making this continue. Um, Danielle, I have to cut you off really quick. I think it's a he. No, it's, it's, it's a she. No, it's a he. His name is Titus. All right, let's not argue about that. Sorry, I just didn't want her to say the wrong thing and then that get blown up, you know? Fight, no, I, truth be told, is a, is a woman. Fight. I wanted to um, hop up here and ask you a question. Have you read what I sent you on Instagram yet? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think you have because it don't say seen like when usually I send you something and you read it. I really need you to read that. I think it's going to help you a lot. Uh, she doesn't check her Instagram very often. Well, yeah, but I, 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 that, I, just, I think just, you'll be happy you 